you guys, Smelly Troll here from Barefoot Games and Comics. Nothing makes us happier as gamers when we're able to get a collector's edition uh, for our favourite game. So today we're going to have a look at some of the darn right cool, uh, funky and very weird collector's editions that have come out for some of our favourite games. Check it out. First off we have Dead Island Riptide. Uh, the game came in a steelbook case, a uh, collector's art book, and it also came with a bloody female torso. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I get the game was a zombie game, uh, but really? As a bloody torso as, uh, as the collector's edition. The other scary thing is that somebody actually owns this, and it's probably the pride and joy of their collection. So this one we're going to file under weird for sure. Next up is the Halo 3 Legendary Edition. Uh, not many extras came with, uh, with this edition, but it did come with a life-size replica of the Master Chief's helmet. And I think a lot of guys thought that the helmet would probably be something that we could actually wear and would look, you know, look pretty cool. Uh, as it turned out, it wasn't. It was just hollow. Uh, and would actually be able to house the uh, the game and the bonus disc as well. But it still looked pretty damn cool. Going back to 2015 now, for arguably one of the best role-playing game, open-world role-playing games uh, ever made. And uh, The Witcher 3 uh, came with the art book, a medallion, map, soundtrack, steel case, but it also came with a very, very cool-looking Geralt battling a griffin statue. Um, the photograph makes it look really cool, but uh, apparently some people have uh, told me, and I've read up about it as well, is that uh, the painting on the statue itself left a little bit to be desired, but still a very cool collector's edition indeed. Going back into creepy territory again now with Resident Evil 7. Now there's a little bit of a discrepancy here, as the uh, Resident Evil 7, the 20th anniversary edition, uh, the US version contained an 8-inch uh, mansion replica, uh, which doubled up as a music box, whereas the, um, the UK European version uh, contained a 7-inch version of the, uh, of the mansion uh, and didn't have the, the music box. So I guess it sucks to be in the, in the EU or um, in the UK. But uh, the current edition itself came with, obviously, the mansion replica, five lithographs, uh, some DLC content, and my personal favourite, a USB flash drive, which was shaped as a finger. Going right back to 2011 now for the Fear 3 Collector's Edition. And uh, it came with some DLC. Uh, you got an in-game handgun, which was called the Hammer. The steel case packaging, which seems to be quite the norm for Collector's Editions. Uh, you got a Fear 3 comic book, which was done by DC Comics. And... This is cool and it's freaky at the same time, but you got the pregnant Alma figurine, uh, which has a glow-in-the-dark fetus. And now we have a bit of a strange one, the Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile uh, edition. Um, this was the collector's edition that never actually happened. Uh, it was supposed to come with the steel book, the art book, uh, there was a DC comic book, uh, some DLC skins as well as a statue of the Batmobile. Um, the price for this was uh, around about $200 for pre-order, and uh, just before it was about to be released, uh, they pulled it uh, due to, um, apparently there was some, some issues with the quality, um, I'm assuming, of the Batmobile uh, statue itself, and so it never came into fruition. So uh, that kind of sucks, the uh, collector's edition that no one actually owns. Quickly moving on to a collector's edition that did actually ship, and that's the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Prestige Edition. Uh, obviously this came with all the, the uh, standard frills for a collector's edition, um, but it also came with the very cool night vision goggles that actually worked. Uh, I actually saw them uh, in action, and very, very, very cool indeed. It, the, the collector's edition was a bit pricey, but for a pair of night vision goggles, you know, you'd pay it. Moving on to um, arguably one of my personal favourites, 
uh, and that is the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy edition. Um, now, the, the one thing that really stood out uh, for this collector's edition is the fact that you've got a full-size wearable uh, Pip-Boy that you could wear on your arm. Uh, warranted that you had to uh, put your phone into the holder itself, and you could download the software, and then you had access to a fully working uh, Pip-Boy. Um, yeah, this is this is like a Fallout uh, fanboy's dream come true, and uh, yeah, absolutely loved this. And uh, it, it, I'll be honest with you, it certainly takes pride in uh, in my collection, and I'm sure in anybody else that actually owns the uh, the Fallout 4 Pip Boy, I'm sure it uh, it, it, has, it has a special place uh, for them too. And uh, last, but uh, definitely by no means least, uh, is the God of War 3 Ultimate Edition. Uh, this uh, collector's edition came with a, in a high-end sculpted replica uh, of the Pandora's box. Uh, you got the limited edition God of War art book, and there was a whole heap of uh, DLC uh, that you could um, that you could download, including there was a, a full-length documentary on the making of the game. There was the God of War trilogy soundtrack, uh, the God of War Blood and Metal EP, uh, which was available as an uh, MP3 digital download. Uh, yeah, so if you if you enjoyed the God of War um, series, uh, then this was definitely a must-have for sure. And there you have it, guys. Just a handful, a small selection of some of the amazing, weird and wonderful collector's editions uh, that uh, have become available for us gamers. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, sub consider subscribing to the channel. And obviously share the video if you like. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.